Thought the God of wisdom guides my path through the desert of my soul. The sands of time shift and swirl as I search for truth and meaning. Marked by the eye of Horus, I see the secrets of ancient Egypt. The pyramids hold the key to unlocking my inner power. I am a mystic, a shaman of the unknown. I dance between worlds, I am not alone. With every step, I awaken my soul and embrace the power within me. I dive deep into the unknown and discover my true purpose. The spirits of my ancestors guide my way as I journey through the stars. I am connected to all that is. And my heart sings with all belong. Steve Garcia versus Sung Wo Cho. I, I'm sorry if I mispronounced this. Sung Wo Sung Wo Choi Choi. Anyways, here's the information. Let's see here. Steve Garcia coming off of three win fight streak here. He beat Chase Hooper, but Chase Hooper is not the same Chase Hooper anymore. Um, that's that was like Chase Hooper amateur. Now Ch Chase Hooper is professional. <laughs> uh, this one <clears throat> and this one, Costa. Um, Thirty-two. Here's your birthday. Or, or is that a Gemini? I don't remember. Uh, but anyways, moving on. Um, might be the exact day where they changed or whatever. Um, or the day before. Six foot, 73 inch reach. It's starting out at Albuquerque, New Mexico. Which is where he was born. You know who else fights out of New Mexico? John Jones. And then his opponent, Troy. On a one week win streak, but three losses before that. South Korea. My instincts say <clears throat> Steve Garcia wins. After looking at their destiny cards, um, there's a chance that Wu could win by some weird, mysterious way. Um, but there's, it's that's why I put slight win by Steve Garcia for their birth cards. Plus they have. No um, information about this year. There's nothing special about this year in their life, being 32 or 31, or whatever. So we have a slight win here with Steve Garcia with the, their birth cards and then Planetary Room cards. I just It's a clear win over here with Steve Garcia, I think, in what I read. Venus period versus Saturn period, 31, 32. 
So I think Steve Garcia wins by TKO or knockout. Let's get into the terror reading now. All right, here we are. We're gonna start with Steve Garcia here with the Marvel Tarot deck. And uh, that's the deck I picked for Steve Garcia in this fight. For Steve Garcia, he has the sign in reverse with his spirit, so uh, some <laughs> this correlates with the Four of Cups here in the the underlying issues or atmosphere for him in this fight. So like he has everything at his disposal and time and prepared, so like time traveling skills kind of thing. That's what the Four of Cups in this Marvel deck represents. So it's like manifesting powers. So he's gonna, that's why I'm pretty sure he's gonna get the win here with these cards. But the sudden reverse for the spirit is like a lack of understanding or feeling or connection to enlightened feeling within thyself and knowing the spiritual aspects of who he is. So that's up in the air. I don't know if his faith is in question or if his faith or if he's second guessing his faith or refining what spirituality is or anything like that. But there's something to do with uh, his spirits aren't up to par in his life. The five of coins in reverse in his mind is he knows he's probably going <clears> to <throat> be OK no matter what happens. Uh he'll be he's got family he's got connections or whatever so no matter what happens he's gonna be okay that's what it's like in his mind so he's determined to put out his better best effort regardless he's he doesn't have a fear of losing or winning or whatever he's just gonna do it perform and do what he does which is <clears throat> where the physical comes in with the empress so that's kind of like him working with the time gemstone and the space gemstone with social aspects and his emotions he probably has an intimate relationship i assume of some kind whether he's married or not and that's filling him up a lot within his heart and he has the magic of doing whatever he can for the love of his life family whatever it be and uh this one's going to help him with that and the Empress here, she does that kind of stuff, that kind of work, creation, manifesting, creator, um, natural way of things. And he's been putting in the work, and so he's naturally due for a win, like he has been. And he has the Eight of Wands here socially, so I see a lot of celebration and victory and pride and ha happiness with his victory. And I think he's going to get a TKO um, or a knockout. But let's see what let's see what the opponent has um in Choi or Choi.
All right, we got Troy here. Before we go on, uh, I just want to remind everybody, if you are having a gambling addiction issue where you are spending your baby's milk money or your rent money or whatever the issue is in your life, uh, seek psychological help. Go get help, please. Only gamble what you can lose. Treat this like entertainment, like watching a movie or going to the movies or going to a theme park or something. So spend what you are willing to lose on entertainment value for whatever reason. If you win, you win. If you lose, you lose. Don't make it a big deal. All right, back to the reading. So with Choi here, we have the Eight of Cups in his spirits. I don't know if he doesn't realize he's ready to walk away from something. I don't know if it's fighting or something or personal things, whatever it is with the spiritual aspects of his life, with religion or beliefs, or maybe he has just recently walked, turned his back on something, changed his religion or something maybe, or his fighting spirits maybe, I'm talking about his fighting spirits could have changed. Um, Cause it's a spiritual aspect we're talking about, but now we have the eight of wands in reverse in his mind. This is a slow, new, not getting the information he wants. Um, for some reason, he's frustrated about the information, not liking it, or not having to deal with, or having to deal with issues, and not having to deal with the correct things that he was told, or something, or they were told about some issues with. Um, Figuring out fights or coaches or something is on his mind. Something to do with not getting information when he was expecting it or as soon as he was expecting it. And the Empress in his social or his physical aspects with so he's uh, he's developing his prime as well right now and whatever it is he's doing. Just like Steve Garcia over here. The difference is, is the underlying energy here is the seven of wands, which would be a good thing if it was upright, but it's not. That means his personal space or his mental game is being penetrated through outside forces, whether it's family or government or UFC bat management or what, I don't know, or his coaches, his gym, I don't know. Something's going on, messing with his head. He has the emperor over here in his social aspect of his life. The emperor, um, so I, I assume he, for where he's from in South Korea, he's doing great. He's he's seen like an emperor, like, you know, we're the UFC fighter, right? Because he is, obviously, or else he wouldn't be there. And then um, he has a, a justice in reverse on his heart. So there's some injustice. Uh, I don't know if it's like false promises or treaties not signed correctly or something or documents, misunderstandings, maybe relationships, maybe his wife, maybe a per girlfriend or whatever he has going on in his life. It could be any of those things. Something to do with his emotional aspect of his life, his mental and his spiritual walking away from this fire, small fire not turning out the way he thought it would turn out or something's going on here. He's uh, only won one in the last four round fights. So he might be having second thoughts. Steve Garcia is not... He does have Emperor Social moving chess moves pieces back home or something with Joy. The Empress here with his physical aspect, he might be changing sports or remodeling or his career in a way with who he is in his physical aspects because there's many avenues one can go from a UFC fighting. It's not like he's stuck in MMA now. He can be a coach. He could be a, a sports trainer, a physical trainer. He could be a model he could try to get into movies or you know uh, commercials or start his own entertainment of some kind there's all kinds of options for him so and i assume that he's having this spiritual uh, awareness or keen or feeling or irritation or something bothering him in his gut or something so there you go my prediction is still Steve Garcia wins by TK or KO. I do, if you want to just sprinkle a little extra, little something, something, $5 or whatever, small little pinch of um, under two and a half rounds, you could bet that. But 
No guarantees. Remember that. I don't guarantee anything, even though I might be pretty accurate sometimes or pretty accurate most time or whatever it turns out going forward. But we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll adjust. We'll, we'll th make sense. And we'll do things. But anyways, thanks for being here, subscribing, liking, sharing, and all those amazing things you do because you're an amazing human being who does things like that. And uh, see you next time. Laters.